Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using UI path. In today's session, we are going to use the mouse trigger as well as the hot key trigger. So these two triggers which enable the human and loop action. So when I say human and loop, so it will wait for the human input. So based upon the human input, it will perform the triggers action. So let me take in a quick example over here, which help us to understand so how to involve this send trigger as well as the hot key trigger. So let me go to this Acme site. So where you have nine pages, right? So let's assume if you want to take a snip and I take a screenshot of all these nine pages. So how do you do that? So usually you need to open the snipping tool and then you have to snip this particular data. After that, so you are going to save in a particular location, right? So you are going to perform all this action manually. So let's assume if you are going to interact with bot. So based upon your mouse clicks, whether it's a left click or right click or in a hot cut key trigger. So if you are going to send a particular key based upon that it will take a snip of this particular pages next next pages and then it will store in a respective folder which you need on so likewise you can interact with the bot and perform your action so based upon the input so let me go to the ui path studio and start our session so before that let me try to comment off this file chain trigger perfect so in mouse or hotkey trigger let me try to launch first mouse okay so for this as you already know that to do trigger actions we need a trigger scope right at first step so let me drag and drop a trigger scope so after this so you can drag and drop the mouse trigger right so inside this mouse trigger so let me make control plus left click to perform our actions okay so here let me go to the project so inside this project so in a framework i have a take screenshot pick this take screenshot from the re framework okay so no need to confuse anything so we can just copy and paste this take screenshot example from the re framework okay so let me drag and drop this take screenshot now and then so inside this folder path we are going to pass the path so where the screenshot need to be stored okay so let me go here inside the project folder so inside this so let me try to store in the output folder itself so let me try to copy and then pass this particular path over here perfect so i have just changed the path now right cool so here we are going to make a control plus left click to take a screenshot okay and store in the designated path which we have provided okay so let me try to change this from sequence to trigger action cool right so let me try to debug the file now when it gets started it will wait for our action so it will keep on monitor our mouse event now okay so whether this particular mouse event has been fired or not so once it got fired it will take a screenshot so we have started compiling all file it will get started quickly now so I just moved to this particular page now, right? So when I just click on control plus left click, it will take a screenshot. As soon as I just click, it will take a screenshot. So it just got started running now, okay? So it will start monitor our mouse action now. Use this mouse even now, control plus left click. So as soon as I press control plus left click, it will take a screenshot. Let me go to the second page and screenshot of second page as well, okay? So here, control plus left click so that's it so we can traversal to all pages and take a snip of all pages as well so now we can take screenshot of only these two pages for testing now so let me go to the uipath studio and stop action now so perfect so inside this output you can see screenshot has been stored right two screenshot which means two pages which were navigated let me go to the output folder and check it so let me go to the output folder so here you can see two kind of a screenshot right <coughs> so page one perfect and let me go here it's a page two right so it has been captured both the pages so likewise let me use the hot kit key trigger now so let me try to delete this now and then try to use the hot kit key So this involves only the keyboard keys. Okay. 
only the keyboard keys based upon the keyboard keys it will start performing the actions so when i make it as alt plus s okay let me make alt plus s so when i click on alt plus s automatically it will take screenshot of this particular pages so since we have taken care first two pages in mouse even let me try to uh, capture third and fourth page okay so let me go here save and then debug now so when i click on alt plus s so automatically it will take a screenshot which is it will trigger the trigger action so let me go to the page over here so once it got compiled and started running so it will start monitoring the keyboard events now so previously it will start monitoring the mouse event now it's a keyboard event yeah so you can see it got started running now right so whenever i just click alt plus s it will take a screenshot so let me click on alt plus s so i just made a alt plus s so let me go to the next page fourth page so here let me make alt plus s perfect right it may be captured third and fourth page now so let me go to the ui pass studio so here you can see two kind of a screenshot which two pages has been captured now let me click on stop so inside this output panel we can see two screenshot has been stored right so let me go to the output folder now so let me go to the output folder so this is our third and fourth pages so likewise you can utilize this hotkey key and mouse even to store the data so likewise you can utilize all these triggers when you're going to perform an action so it will enable the human in trigger so when you're going to perform all these trigger events so as i said earlier when you make it a sequential it will wait for the next next actions so if you have made a one time this particular trigger scope will be executed only one time and it will get stopped so if you want to make any human loop concept so you have to make this sequential so only if you are making this sequential it will enable the human loop concept so i hope this session will be helpful for you thanks for watching happy learning have a good day